All right, so a little background on Officer Crocker and Officer Gutierrez. Um, while both are new to the department in the last year, um, Officer Gutierrez is an experienced officer. Um, he was serving in the role of a field training officer. Officer Crocker had just graduated from the police academy back in October and was still in his field training phase and what we call the shadow phase. Um, one of the things in watching the video uh, is watching Officer Crocker. And if you've watched the video, you'll see there's several times in the video where Officer Crocker makes an effort to de-escalate that situation verbally with his mouth. He changes his pitch, his tone, his demeanor. Um, that, that is somebody right there who has the makings of being a policeman, that, that sees that, that understands that importance. I've known Daniel since he was 14. He's a lifelong resident of the town of Windsor. Uh, he wants to serve his community. Um, and there is little to no doubt in my mind that with some additional training and a few more years under his belt, he will continue to serve this community well. Uh, and as is with everything, this is a teaching moment for us. This is a, te a, a teachable moment. Um, you know, look at your favorite NFL team. After every game on Sunday, what happens? Right? Win or lose, bad or good, everybody goes into the building, gets on the film, right? Looking at, hey, what can we do better? What did we do good? What did we do bad? Where do we got to make changes? How do, we, how do we become more efficient and more effective and do a better job? And that's the same thing that we're going to do with this, is we're, we're into it. We know there, there's deficiencies there. We're going to work to fix those deficiencies and, and move forward. What candidate does this is there a federal investigation? Yes, sir, there is. It, it, the FBI came with the Virginia State Police on Monday. They asked for certain uh, access to things. That access was granted. Um, questions answered that they had, and materials provided to them. Have you spoken to Lieutenant Lazario? I have not. Do you have anything you'd like to say? I'm glad that he's okay. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm glad that nobody got hurt. That situation ended in the best way it could have. I wish he would have complied a whole lot earlier. Um, you know. Again, I'm not going to, I'll say that there's, there's, I'm going to own what we did wrong. I can't speak for him, but I'm going to own what we did. My guys missed opportunities to verbally de-escalate that thing and change that outcome. Is he open to apology for that? I don't believe so. Why so? You know, Lieutenant Nazario took certain actions that created where we, we got to, um, and, and I think that uh, you know, we'll we'll let the uh, we'll let the court sort that part of it out and litigate that part. Before we launch that, do you think the officer handled it appropriately? And after the gas station and getting out of their car with their guns drawn, do you think that was an appropriate uh, use of force that they're showing there? Ba based on the things that they saw, the way they interpreted. What, what, the beauty of where we are today is we can watch this thing back at one frame per second, right? In the real world, this is unfolding. Those officers are having to make decisions based on what they see. Those decisions are based on what are their training, what are their experiences, what have they seen in the past? Is the way they did that maybe the way I would have handled it? Maybe not. Um, but based on the, the current law, the case law that's in place on how we, we deal with traffic stops, I think it was, it was legal. It was a totality of the circumstance, everything they had seen to that point. Uh, the vehicle had no visible tag that they could run. Um, the vehicle was tinted out. You can't see how many occupants are inside, what's going on inside the vehicle. Um, the vehicle slowed but didn't come to a stop. It passed multiple locations where it could have safely pulled from the roadway um, and continued and then cut across four lanes of traffic into that final location. It's not my place to judge what he did wrong. I just wish he would have complied quickly and, and followed the officer's commands.